Now for another vintage classic, Da 999 was, I'm reliably informed, the Sweeney of its day, filmed extensively on location in London in the late 1950s. Tonight's episode dates from 1959, and it begins with a mail train robbery, so don't get any ideas. Dial nine, nine, nine. When in London, that's what you do to call the police. I know. I'm a policeman from Canada attached to Scotland Yard. My name's Mike McGuire. Much of the mail in England is carried by the railroads and sorted while on its way to its destination. Some mail of great value containing cash and articles such as jewelry and uncut gems is registered. In spite of rigorous precautions taken by postal authorities to protect this valuable mail, daring robberies are occasionally committed. Such was the case on the express traveling between Edinburgh and London on the night of March 20th. If the train's on time, it ought to be here any minute now. When the train arrived at Euston Station in London, the crooks mingled with the crowd of passengers. They were easily able to make good their escape before the theft was discovered and the prisoners released. There's the fire. Emergency, which service do you require? Police. Is this the police? I'm reporting from Euston Station. The mail van of the Edinburgh London Express was held up and robbed this morning. At the time of the mail robbery, I was attached to the Flying Squad at Scotland Yard under Superintendent Robinson. The Flying Squad, as its name applies, is the most mobile arm of the police. Well, they are undoubtedly a dangerous and extremely well-organized gang. That's about all we know about them. Except for a rather vague description of the man who impersonated the guard. Guard. Uh, that's what we call a conductor in Canada, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Any fingerprints? Only those are the male sorters. The crooks must have worn gloves. Did any of them speak so he could identify a voice? The leader did say something to the others, but uh, I don't think I'd know his voice again. Remember what he said? Yes. It was just before they locked us in the car. He said, hurry up with them bags, we're nearly there. Nearly at Houston? No, no, this was about 5.35, an hour before we got there. That probably explains what happened to the bags. They dumped them on the line. Yes. Well, we can check with the railroad exactly where the express was at 5.35. So much to go on, but you better get started. Yes, sir. You say the thief put your cap on just before he went into the mail car. Yes, Inspector. That's why the clerks let him in. The light was dim and they thought it was me. Do you mind if I borrow this? Certainly. I'd like the lab to check this, sir. There's just a chance they might be able to tell us something. Thanks, Mr. Forrest. The log of the railroad company told us where the express was at 
and starting from there our men searched the track for possible clues